All right, everybody, welcome back. And welcome to Saturday Knife Live. Your guest host, Zach, filling in. Got some big shoes to fill in for Big Red EDC. Saw some of those vacation pictures today. Looking good out there. Love it. <laughs> Punctuality, huh? Man, I saw, Marshall, I saw some of your uh, suggestions earlier on the comments. It's pretty good. I know, Bunzo, we made it. What's going on? What's up, Patrick? Yeah, buddy, Woodland's in the house. <laughs> Marshall had some good, good comments earlier on some... Uh, Knife stuff. Oh, yeah, some 940 scales, huh? See those creeping over there? What's up, Eugene? Welcome, welcome. Rick's here. Nice. Very nice. Barry's here. Nice. Patrick, I know. Those are nice. Those are from Rock Scale Designs. Yeah, you guys are welcome. What's up, Christian? What knife did I EDC today? I EDC'd the Southern Grind Spider Monkey. What's up, Beefer Baron? That's the one I EDC'd today. But I do want to say thank you to Big Red. Hope you're enjoying your weekend, your uh, vacation across the U.S., getting some good fishing in. But I would like to say Memorial Day weekend. Just quick shout out. Thank you for everybody, everything they've given up for us, for all of our freedom. It's pretty awesome. And uh, if you've served or are currently serving, thank you very much. Anyways, so we'll get back here. Stuart's here. Nice, nice. Andrew's here, right on. Marshall just wiped on the first coat of boiled linseed oil. Ooh, I bet that those look great. Yeah, Zach Brown Band owns Southern Grind. It's his knife company. Yeah, I'm into that. Oh, Big Red's here, nice. Oh no, you can see the chat, but you can't get the feed. Rock the PM2 on the fishing trip today. Nice. What's up, drone stuff? In the house, very nice. Big Red's here. Well, welcome Big Red and Big Red, thank you very much. Hopefully you can you can hear my voice. If not, I'll have to type you a message, but just wanna say thank you for letting me guest host Saturday Night Live. Got some knives here today. We got some other stuff to talk about. Rado's here. What's up, Rado? Yeah, so the two I carried today were probably not super shocking is the bailout with the Rogue Bladeworks Carbon Fiber Scales. I'm just loving this one, especially with the scale upgrade. Just waiting for that backspacer, uh, what is that, pommel delete. That'd be great. So waiting for that to happen. That'll be groovy. And then of course the spider monkey. You see the little monkey logo on there. The pivot. Oh, you got the 590 boost. Nice. Rock JT's now repaired Natrix. Oh, right on. You got that repaired up, huh? That's pretty sweet. And I don't know if you guys saw this coin, but I want to show you guys this coin here. So I put this on my Instagram. This came with one of my knives. I'll show you in just a second here. It's Land of the Free, Home of the Brave. Pretty awesome coin. You flip it over, and it's from Benchmade Knife Company, USA Proud. It's something that they put out here a little bit ago. 
that they're doing with uh, GovX orders. So if you go to GovX, you know somebody that uh, yourself or somebody else that can qualify for one of their accounts, you can order some pretty cool limited edition knives and they come with some pretty cool stuff. So it was pretty awesome that it showed up and it, and it uh, shipped straight from Benchmade to me. So even though the order was from somebody else, so pretty cool. Oh, uh, Grom's here, gotta check out in a little bit. Yeah, the coin's pretty cool stuff. Uh, gear toward gears here, nice, nice. You have a combo to remember today. Oh, Blue Collar's here. Blue Collar Survival, BCS. What up? Going back through there, sorry. Out the fronts, man. Out the fronts are cool, but um, I don't carry them as often, you know? That's one of those things where I'm like, hmm. Just uh, more useful for me to have, you know, folding knife. I do have one Bally. Yeah, I have a 51. Uh, it was a uh, sp uh, special limited edition one uh, for Blade HQ. Now, what came with my coin, or what the coin came with was this knife right here, which is 917 BK 1901. It's a triage. It's a black class, bench made. But I'm going to bump my camera there a little bit. But this one is, uh, has a thin blue line. No, I don't have 87. Keep an eye out though. Might get one. But this is kind of a cool, and one of the things I compared it with the other day, went by my, uh, friendly bench made store. And, uh, basically compared it with one of the, the stock, 917 triages and basically they've redone the texturing on the handle here so this texturing is actually a little bit better oh nice big red's got audio and video now welcome welcome shout out to big red thanks very much for letting me host yeah i went to the benchmade factory store in oregon city world headquarters um didn't pick this one up there but got the uh comparison of the other one so pretty cool. And one of the things on GovX, like I said, this one came from GovX. You can see inside the liners though. I don't know, hopefully you can see inside there. The blue liners through there. Yeah, man. Glad to do it, Big Red. I saw your fishing pictures too. That's pretty awesome. They have some of these with a thin red line. So they have a red liner and they also have a green, like olive green. So saw some question in there. If I make a video tasing myself, <laughs> I don't know. I think a lot of people would start tasing themselves for free knives. I don't have, I don't have that many bug outs to do that <laughs> or bailouts. Yeah. Big red caught some fish today. That was awesome. Yeah. So that's good stuff. Yeah. Marshall, the texture is way different, which is actually nicer, a lot better for the triage. So I'm pretty excited to carry this one. Thin blue line for police, red for fire, and green for army. Yeah, pretty much green for military. Uh, it's kind of an olive green for everybody. Uh, blue for police, law enforcement, red for, you know, fire, EMS, those kind of things. So, uh, you know, if you know me, I kind of like the blues. So the thin blue line one was, you know, something I, I wanted to have. So it's kind of cool I was able to order it. So got that twice for five seconds a piece. Take the ride the lightning there a little bit. No self tasing, yeah. Now, this one, I don't know if you guys have seen this one. Let me wipe the blade off a little bit. This is a mini group Italian. Just to ride the lightning twice on that one, huh? But this is a uh, inlaid C Tech with black G10. This is from uh, Death of All Things, Death Grips. Just amazing hand crafted work he does. And then barrel spacers he puts in there. Puts in the kit and you rebuild it. So, yeah, another good one. So, what are we talking? Tasing? Are we up to 10 seconds now? Bunzo. 
Full custom hinderer. Yeah, you got to go all out if you're going to tase yourself. Totally. Uh, Greg, they just started putting the coin in. Uh, I saw it on their ad. So if you go to Go GovX, you can probably see the ad for it for the triages. And I'm not sure if they do them for any of the other ones. They have like an auto striker that kind of has the same color package they did custom for GovX. But I'm not sure on the others. I just saw this one. And I've been wanting a triage. I'm like, oh man, I love the blue. So I got to get the blue. Yeah. <laughs> Never had a reason to buy a taser. Yeah, exactly. Hey, you know what, man? That's the thing, you know, they're, they're giving back to them, the people that are buying. That's cool, you know, so. A real Canadian Army Challenge coin? Hmm. No. I'm not, I didn't go back and check Greg to see when it was, but you know, I've got some challenge coins for some cool stuff that, you know, fell, fell upon me and how I reacted. So kind of neat, neat stuff when, when, uh, certain people honor you with coins, this is just for making a purchase. So kind of cool. They're offering it there. And I think they're going to put it out on some other things. I said like late August one of the posts I saw. So yeah, you'd have to have somebody else taser you. Plus we want it filmed, you know, can't not film it. Oh, blue collar. I didn't catch it. I saw it pop up, but I want to get the, all my stuff set up tonight. Looks like it's a good one, huh? Oh, you have a Wookiee Challenge coin, JT. Hey, JT's here. Nice. What's up, man? You're fluent. Oh, really? Nice. Sounds like we need another video for that. Uh, so these scales up here, I haven't shown them off yet, but they're here. These are rock scale designs, titanium, anodized. And it's kind of like a... I think he calls it like a mollusk or shell pattern. Yeah, Woodland, you have to, if we can start making our own crazy videos, that would be wild. But anyways, those, uh, those work pretty good. Haven't decided which uh, 940 I'm gonna put them on yet or if I'm gonna keep them. Oh, John Wick coins, those would be nice. But in comparison, let's go to grab some knives. These are the ones I put on the other 940. Similar, a little bit different pattern of milling. So we can bring them out right here. A little bit different, kind of the way that they're cut. But yeah. And then you can see kind of how he mills out the inside to keep the late there the weight really light so it's kind of cool stuff your oils do hit on these quite a bit so you can see just from touching them a little bit the oils that transfer over but that's part of the design but super smooth and i like how these have been holding up pretty good so yeah may swap them out who knows i really dig these but We'll see. We'll see which, which way they go. I think I missed some cool comments there. JT said something about a uh, 940 on eBay. Yeah, Greg, you know, I think uh, we should bring it up every time we have a video. I think that'd be kind of cool. You know, I think we should talk about it every single time. Maybe that'll get him to change. I don't know, dude. I've talked about it a whole bunch, so. I mean, all you can do is move on, right? Move forward. It's what you do after. So, uh, 940 on eBay. Yeah, that would be kind of a cool 940 on eBay to do it. It's like a special limited edition one. But yeah, so 
What do you guys got planned for the Memorial Day weekend? Doing any fun stuff? I know, uh, Big Red. Oh, you found a proper for 95 bucks. That's pretty good. That's not too shabby. Oh, Marshall's going to make some, you're going to make some scales, really? Oh, yeah. It's a good challenge. Uh, BC has to work on, yeah, I have to work. I work today and I work tomorrow, so. Yeah, man, they'll they'll swap out the blade for you, Bunzo. You know, it's a it's a just a basic charge for it. So, oh, that's okay, Greg. I was just giving you a hard time. I appreciate you being here, man. I just, I uh, you know, for me, I just get tired of hearing it because it's like, you know, it's like if you were a Chevy fan and you drove a Chevy and you know you talked about stuff and then. Somebody's like, oh, you know, you know, something they did when they took a bunch of money from the government and bailed themselves out or something. I mean, it's, it's just one of those things for me, but it's probably because it's late too for me. So, <laughs> so welcome. Don't want to, don't want to uh, make you feel uncomfortable, but welcome, Greg. I do appreciate you being here. And if you like Benchmade, 940 was my first one too. So that's what kicked me going. And also, uh, if you saw my giveaway, I started my 2,500 subscriber giveaway. So that video is on my YouTube channel. Uh, make sure to go over there, check it out, and uh, leave a comment with the things on there. And so, yeah. But yeah, Big Red's got some good stuff going over there, man. He's got uh, good fishing weather. Looks like it's probably like 75, 80 degrees. Big River. Big wide river, it looked like. Oh, well, Grom's got some bone in ribeyes. Oh, yeah. Let's beat up a knife. Yeah, man. I got a perfect one I should send out to you. What's up, veteran? Thanks for your comments earlier, veteran. Appreciate that. Doing a, Somebody's doing a cookout. Who's doing a cookout? Oh, Eugene. Oh, and fishing. Nice. Driving DoorDash. That's cool, man. Yeah, I should send out that uh, turret to uh, Woodland. Yeah, Patrick, so um, the other stuff on the Puko scales, uh, Big Brown Bear is working on that right now. Um, but he's going he's gonna to be waiting until after the show. He gets his knives finished. So, yeah. So, I'm working with him on that. We'll film some videos on it. It'd be pretty cool. Oh, 75 there today. Nice, nice. Oh, you're going to make some videos this summer. Cool. Getting caught up on that. You can't look at Benchmade products and a service coin in the same frame. I'm out. Hmm. What if it's a Benchmade coin? Still, Still don't like it. Big Red's carrying the PM2 mess. Nice. Oh, you're in Phoenix. Very humid, huh? Hmm. Got the Benchmade 530. Nice, nice. PM2. Yeah, I don't have a PM2 yet. I have a pair of three. Pro Freak. Nice. So yeah, I haven't tried the Boker Mermaid uh, as a baton, but the turret's built pretty strong, so I'd put all the effort into there. Oh, it's humid where JT is. Oh, I bet. Looks like he's having a little bit of a man weekend. Greg, your last two's been the bug out and the puko. Oh yeah, I love those. I do have a couple bug outs too. Hey, what's up, Peter? Welcome. I got some bug outs in here too. I don't know if you've seen those, but you're in the desert. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. No, Roman's 940 blade? No, uh uh. Oh, you got your rigor hogue finally. Oh, nice, Rick. Yeah, I do have a couple. Those are the modded ones, most of them. Just a couple bug outs. A 
Come on, Woodland. Don't you need a couple extra bug outs? I gotta sell some of them. That's the bad part. So I got a I got a list together for Randy because Randy wants to buy a couple knives from me. So having some trouble with uh, parting waves with them. So yeah, I was gonna show you guys a couple other knives that came in on my end. I know you've seen them. Yeah, just a couple. But this one's from Damn Design. Damn EDC. Pretty cool knife here. I, I can't wait to get the review done on it here. Hopefully tomorrow or Monday. Have your PM2 in the Bushmaster. Oh, 531. Nice, nice. Thinking about making pens this summer. Oh, cool. What type of pens are you making? Like full size pens or like uh, little polka pens or something? Look at this one. And then this one, you probably saw it recently. Um, free video idea. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's good, Bunzo. I like that. The doctor. The doctor. Fall shut right out of the box. A little frame lock. Get some anodize on it. It's got a little bit of oil here. Hold on. Wipe this off. Getting a 3D printer to make scales. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, as you can tell, I get a little bit into the scales. Customizing on stuff. But yeah, you'll see this one on my channel coming up. It's really nice. I, I like the design of it. You can have beat the piss out of the window go here. Yeah. I, I'm still having trouble because I'm adjusting to the frame lock. Uh, so I push on this frame lock portion right here when I go to open it. So I'm adjusting to move my, my middle finger up. So it just comes and flies right out. So, but I love this one. You got your Tonto blade. It's a nice one. You can 3d print wood scales. Holy cow. Yeah. The worm clip version will be nice. I like that one. So yeah, that one's coming up on the channel here soon. Just a, a beautiful knife that was designed and basically it's in uh, prototype right now. Yeah, same thing, push on that frame lock bar, yeah. Oh, the sheep's foot. Yeah, clip point, when to go? That would be kind of cool. I'd like that one. And I, I don't know if I've showed you guys my uh, my newest Spider Co. Came in a little bit ago. Haven't done a review on it yet. Oh, 18 hours to print them. Whew. It's like the Ron Co. food dehydrator. You just set it and forget it. Got the old Capara here. Just a smooth one. Put oil on it. I do have another backspacer for it. So I'm going to do a video and a little post on Instagram shouting that out. But yeah, what do you guys think of this one? Kapara, have you guys tried it out? I'm not much into the Spidey flicking, but this thing closes like a guillotine just straight down. The wire clip. Yeah, you know what? I like it for the fact that it's deep carry. So since it's deep carry, I'm down with that. And it does have a compression lock on the back. You know, kind of a liner, a reverse liner lock that you push in on. So when it's out, you just push in on it right there to release it. So I like the fact it's deep carry, but Can I explain it? I can't explain it, JT. Uh, I think it's the color. I think it's the color. Because, I mean, I have a pretty bright light going, and it's pretty pretty dark. Um, I don't know. Let me see if I have the spacer available. Show you the difference. Was not prepared for that question. I think I got it, though. Hold on. 
yeah, here, hold on. Just a little bit different pop of red, I think, and a little bit different material. So, this one's not oiled up yet, but I don't know if you can see the color difference on that. You like the blood red BCS? So you like the darker one? So it almost looks like it's a little thinner too. But yeah, it does look a little thinner. Thins it out maybe. <laughs> Your name is Justine for saying you don't like compression locks. That's funny. So yeah, I'm gonna have to try it out. I don't know. I don't know if there's a difference in making it thinner on that back edge, but I kind of like the deep red on it compared to the other one, but yeah, compression locks okay, but on this one, oh, it killed it for you. I kind of like it because I'm I'm not a I'm not a liner lock fan a whole bunch like this Southern grind one right here. Yeah. I like red to you. I mean, most of my stuff's in like blue accents, but this one has a liner lock here and I want to show you guys something that I've found on this and I want your guys' opinion. So honest opinion as I knock everything over, but honest opinion, be right back. Thanks Bunzo. Let me show you. I just got to get some stuff out of the way so I don't knock the camera again. So let me know what you think of this lockup right here. Let me see if you guys can see it. There is not much lockup. I mean, maybe half, a third. What's up, Ryan? Something like that. Yeah, so... That, I mean, that to me is like kind of scary, but I don't know. I, I want to know your thoughts because I'm not much of a liner lock guy. You know, I only have a few that are liner locks. And so I'm like, hmm, yeah. So I haven't done any testing on it to see if it slips out or anything. Um, I mean, live on camera would be awesome, right? But yeah, I mean, I think there was, from what I've seen and heard, they were dealing with some maybe sticky locks or kind of it being way too far over and this was their correction for it. I mean, it's smooth as butter, this knife is, but anyways. So that's the only thing I found and then the pocket clip is good very strong. Yeah, if I lost a digit. Yeah, exactly. But I would love I would love a deep carry, but they've kind of fixed that because one of the things that they did was they put this texturing, you can see right here, into the edge of the handle. So it kind of like fades in from nothing and gets more texture at the end. So yeah, I'll pro I, might, I might send it in. I was going to talk to him next week. I just got it this last week. So I just wanted to see, you know, I was going to kind of do a review on it, do my first initial thoughts on it and then get in contact with him after the holiday and say, Hey, here's what's going on that I found. What do you guys think? And I'm sure they're, they'll be pretty good to correct it. Hopefully it is. It's a beautiful carbon fiber. They, I mean, it just, it feels really good in the hand. I mean, no pun intended, but it just does. So honey badger, the replacement is holding up. Okay. Well, that's good. So it didn't have any of the problems like the first one did. That's good to hear. Try to see if there's any of the other ones I had in there that you guys haven't seen yet. What HD Warncliffe knife or blade knife? 
Do you recommend something other than Spyderco? You have those. Hmm. Well, let's see here. I've kind of stuck with Benchmade, but I don't know. We can ask the rest of the the Saturday Night Live crew here and see what their opinions are. Yeah, <laughs> Woodland. Woodland, I will. I think we need to hook up offline this weekend, Woodland, so I can ship uh, a turd out to you. I have one that's waiting. I'm going to do some testing on one, but I have another one I'll send out to you. That way you can put it through the paces. And then just send it back because it's warrantied, right? I'll take it in. We'll get it all fixed back up. So it looks like we got some answers there for Greg. Maybe a Chavez Sangre. Gerber Fastball. Kaiser Rogue. You living in a van down by the river. We gotta be living in a van down by the river. What's up, up? Don Gregorio. Gregorio. Don. Dono. What's up, Dono? Oh. The doctor is asking a little follow-up question there, Greg. Seeing if it needs to be a folder or not. K-bar hinder, hindrance fixed blade. Huh. That would be a solid one. That's Murka. Your test is not covered under warranty? <laughs> it's got a, hold on. It's got a woodland exemption. Let me double check these. Hold on. Let's see, on the back of the box, what does it say here? Life Sharp Warranty, what's that, Benchmade, Trademark Copyright, Post Consumer, I don't know, Service and Warranty. Let me see on this other one here, hold on. Let me see what the other one says. Got another one right over here. Um, yep, I think so. I think you got it. Custom makers know about you. You can't, you can't, uh, you can't send them anything, huh? <laughs> They'll be like, no way. No way, son. So, hashtag van life. Oh, nice. BCS, you're going to be on the Sharp Talk podcast tomorrow. That'll be fun. Spider Monkey's pretty nice. You got the official memo? Yeah, that's cool. What's up, Patty? Patty's in the house. Thanks for joining, Patty. Very cool of you to join. Yeah, you don't get a knife back that way. They're like, nope, sorry. What's up, Rodney? Rodney's in the house. Thanks for joining. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I know. Patty's here. Donnie. All sorts of celebrities. Huh. Kershaw's dropping a red M390. Dang. Black hardware, subframe, lock, black wash blade. Dang. That'd be a nice one to get. Uh, what do you think? Uh, let's see. They should make a Benchmade Green Class. The spider monkey is right here from Southern Grind. Got the fun little monkey on it. Gardening stuff for the green class. I was kind of hoping they'd bring the red class back. You know? We had a certain CEO for a day talk about that. That would be pretty cool to see.
Hashtag carbon steel. Yeah. Oh, I got what you're saying, Marshall. Jeez. Man, it took me a while to catch that one, huh? Yeah, the red the red class was budget entry level stuff. It's kind of what a lot of people were asking for, you know. Ooh, the gold class kitchen knives, huh? That'd be kind of cool to see. Man, you never know. With you know these days, they could bring back stuff all the time. I'll have to put it. I'll have to put a little uh, little bug in their ear about it. Hey, later, Peter. Appreciate you staying up. I know it's late for you. So what's Big Red got for any topics tonight? We got to ask. Uh, too much of the budget level? You know, I'll tell you something. I've only seen one of those up close. And then probably a couple weeks ago, I was at the Benchmade factory store and they had somebody, somebody was in there getting them sharpened. They had a set they were getting sharpened. I was like, holy cow. It was pretty sweet. Yeah, running the buying price is hard sometimes. And I know a lot of people have trouble with that. And I think that's the thing that, you know, the red class would bring you into that, you know, $50, $60 range. Something you're going to want to get out of like a, you know, a CRKT, you know, it's a large Pilar. But yeah, it's one of those things, you know. I mean, the Griptilian's there, but it's just a little high for it, but... The mini reflex. Oh yeah, wouldn't that be cool if they went backwards and brought some of those other knives out and then kind of just upgraded the steel one notch or put a different handle on it? Which I'd love to see the bug out come out in like a G10. Copper or brass bug outs yet? I have not got those. I have the titanium ones and I did the I did the copper and titanium from flytanium oh you think it diluted the branding so i did the copper on my proper the limited edition one so you can see the patina it's got going so that's been pretty cool copper looks pretty sick on it so i got that one and then i have the the like regular brushed Titanium, and I had an anodized purple. So I got that one as well. But I didn't do it on the bug outs yet, man. Not yet. Diamond coated platinum handles. No way, man. Now I got this one, man. I got this one right here. This is, this is my uh, grail bug out. And I'm loving it. I carry it all the time. You got to. You know, no, I, I don't have anything that I haven't showed you guys. I mean, I have some that, you know, you guys know I have and I put pictures, but. Oh, who's back? Bunzo's back. Nice. What's up? Larry's here. Nice. What's up, Larry? Welcome to, to Big Red EDC's Saturday Knife Live. You just did a flytanium carbon fiber on your bug out. And the brass and your proper. Oh, you love them, Ronan? How did the carbon fiber fit? Okay, I'll show the copper up close in just a second here. Get that finished real quick. All right. Oh, they fit perfect. That's good to hear. That's really good to hear, actually. Yeah, the propers are popping. So let me open this one up. You can see, we'll get it up close here. Oh, strike, strike three. Okay, I got your question there. I'll, I'll be back to it in just a second. Back up your lies. I didn't see your lies you were telling. Hold on, let me go check them.
Oh, oh yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, I have a special one that Les gave me. It's uh, diamond coated. <laughs> What's that, Patty? You're the, you must be the only person who likes blue bug out scales. Yeah, man. I should I should send Patty some scales. Patty, what kind of scales you want for your bug out? I'll send you some scales. Oh, you're getting that shaman for Ryan. Nice. So I did find this woodland. So I don't know. I had this uh, 530 Pardue, um, from Benchmade and it's got the warranty on it, the lifetime warranty, but it's got it on there. It says not after Woodland. So I don't know what that's about, but anyways, so I guess there are some models that the 530 won't, they won't take it back after you. So hopefully the turret doesn't have that. We'll double check. Yeah, that's good stuff there. Patty don't want any any scales, huh? Come on now. We gotta get Patty some wood, some blue scales or something. You love your five thirty? Yeah, I like the five thirty ones too. Those are nice. Oh, you've never held it? Oh yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, I'll give the I'll pop this one out really quick. Yeah, no, I respect that, man. Patty's repping the OG scales. I mean, if you see my bug outs, you know that like some of the ones I have that are even dyed are pretty nice. Here's a serrated version that I have. It's because I love serrations. A 350. Hmm. All the, all the 530 talk. Where did the 350 come from? <laughs> Bunzo. That's funny. Oh, they do encode. Is it that the little QR codes you're talking about, Marshall? I've seen those on there. I'll have to scan the next one I can find and see what it says about Woodland. Ah, the doctor's out of here. See you later, man. I appreciate you joining Big Red EDC's Saturday Night Live. We should get a little jingle going for it. The original, original 530. I see what you're saying, JT. I was just going to do a little uh, pictorial graph. And no, I, have, I do not have one of these. So show people what you're saying. The original 350 Benchmade Pardue. The OG, those are nice. Yeah, a lot of people don't like it. Super secret. It's OG, super secret. A lot of people don't like serrations. I like them on my, on my users. You know, if I have one that I'm gonna carry every day and use it, I, w I want to have this just because I run into some situations where I'm cutting ties, I'm cutting other things that I need a little bit more traction and a little bit more bite, and the serrations will do it for me. So, But I was also hooking up with uh, the Edge Master himself, Tom Veff, and uh, he's a local guy in Oregon here, and trying to think about what knife I could take to him. And... Have him put his uh, custom serrations on. Probably something with a little bit of bigger blade. Oh, the whole blade serrations? Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should take them like 531 and just do all serrations on it. But his serrations go in pretty deep. So I'd kind of like maybe like a full size Griptilian, that kind of blade. That would be awesome. So I'll have to find one of those. So. Let's go back and talk about this real quick. Do a veft out bug out. Oh, that's a good idea, Woodland. I should do that. Do a veft out bug out. I have to get some custom, custom, custom scales. Maybe I'll do one of those uh, platinum sets. Oh, turret would be bad though, because they're so big. Yeah, that would be bad. A serrated Tonto proper. 
Oh, can you imagine that? Take one of these in there, have them regrind it, put some big ulcerations on it. Buy a custom from you. All right. Yeah, we'll talk after. That's all good. But I did want to go back to this. Just <laughs> Patty, just buy a saw. <laughs> Dude, I got a, I have a saw. Let me show you this saw that I just picked up from a buddy of mine. He's let me borrow it to do some testing, doing some videos. That was pretty darn funny. Hold on, I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Now you guys probably know all about the saws. Yeah, you talking about the silky saw? Okay, I'm gonna go back on the really quick. Just buy a saw, okay. And I think, got Tourette's for a second, that's funny. Now Greg, you had an awesome idea, Greg. Right here, buddy. Silky saw from Japan. This one's the big boy. It's a silky folding saw. And I have to tell you, this thing is crazy awesome. You can kind of see what it is there. It's the silky big boy 2000 6.5. And I'll tell you what, let me open this thing up. Yeah, Greg, you got it on. Let me let me just show you. I got to do this so I don't knock things over. I'm just going to do the jaws go across the screen. The Silky Katana Boy. Yeah, that's like twice the size of this one. But it's like, it's pretty large and in charge. But yeah, I mean, I'll lay it down on top of this stuff. And you can see just how big the blade is. So... It's pretty legit stuff, but it folds up and it has different positions. So you can press down right here and actually move the saw blade to a different position. So if you want it more angled up, you can do it in that fashion. Yeah, so this is something that's really awesome to carry around. And when you're done, just folds right up. And the video I have, there's a couple of buddies of mine, we were out messing around with this thing and just like butter, it went through this huge log. You have a Baco Laplander. Has everything you need, nice. So for me, this is probably something that I'll pick up. I've seen some small versions of this, but this is one that I'll, I'll definitely pick up and take with me because it went through some huge logs that we were cutting through. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, so anyways. Silky saws. This one's the big boy. Protec Magic 2. Yeah, veteran. I saw it. I did a review on it too. It's a pretty good, pretty good knife. Grabbed a Muf Mu how do you say that? Mafuani? Mafuani? Mafuan. Yeah, the Protec Magic 2 is pretty cool. I I like it for uh I like the first one they did. I wish they would do an updated version of the first one. Much easier to actuate for me than the other one. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, what's up, David? Blade Banner's here. Yeah, Greg, it's great for clearing limbs, definitely. And they do make one that's half the size, too, so it'd be better, but... Yeah, I saw... Yeah, Woodland, I saw that SC Junglas. They're Junglas? Junglas? Jungles? You just yell at trees and they fall down. Perfect. Hey, Blade Banner, man, you were like, you tackled that thing like a champ, though, man. You hung in there and got it. So, props to that, dude. Oh, it's pronoun pronounced Hunglas. Hunglas? Hunglas. Huh. I've not seen that one. Thought I saw the SE. 
Oh, I was looking at the other one, though. I'll have to look at that one. Hold on, I'm going to look that one up. So calm. Yeah, man. Do you see those ones that they are coming out for uh, Blade Show? I know JT, I think he's going, and David's going. Anybody else going? That's in the live chat here. The live stream chat for Big Red EDC Saturday Night Live. Looking up the SE right now. Hoonglass. Oh, they have a Hoonglass 2, looks like, as well. Oh, Rodney, you're going Saturday. Nice. That's cool. Oh, look at that thing. The Hoonglass is huge. I like that. What we got there going? Do a shot for someone on Memorial Day. Exactly. The Hoonglass. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to go this year. I'm kind of bummed. I'm going to have some NB2, Marshall. Oh, ProTech will have their silver anniversary knife. Yeah, that, that one's... Man. ProTech makes some good stuff. Got a couple of their little dude jobbies right here. Work sharp in the back. Yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, this is their... So I've been using this one. Oh, they, oh, that's right. They include the coin with it. Yeah, I've been using this one. And this is basically their uh, guided field sharpener. This is from WorkSharp. You can see the this is a you know, 20 degree guide on each side. It's got more of a, a rough coarse one and then a fine. They're just you know diamond coated plates, magnets. They pop right off. You can store stuff inside. Green green grass. Got some stuff to do some uh, hooks, restorations. These rods up here will do the other ones. A fine and a coarse or a big hook. But yeah, and a little strop on the back. And I found out this last week, uh, WorkSharp got back in touch with me, but they are, all their parts are replaceable, so. Yeah, exactly, Marshall. We'll have ours in October. That'll be awesome. What, JT, what's your tried, tested sharpening method? Thought Benchmade filled their social media spot? No, I don't think so. It's still up on the website, Blade Banner. But look at that big daddy. Yeah, I think it's the first weekend of November this year. This is their half breed from ProTech. Oh, Jeff Jewell, huh? He's he's your tried and true. Now I don't know if you can see, but this thing is just so quick, so powerful. I just love it. Aluminum handles, deep pocket carry clip, but it's just got that little like California legal blade on it. I bought this one when I was down in California. Yeah, see, I've never had Jeff sharpen my stuff, so I guess it's uh, time to ship some off to him, eh? What system does he use? Hey, hey, what's up, Stasa? Stasa's joining the old Big Red EDC's Saturday Night Live. Yeah, the Magic 2 was a little sluggish, but I think it was pushing that huge blade, you know? And then this is the new port. I think it's the new port. Yeah, this is the new port. And it's basically the same exact handle and mechanisms. This one just has kind of the copper thing. But this one just fires out like crazy too. This is, has that like rose gold copper plating on everything, but this one's just nice. And I guess I don't have this one out anymore that's too available because every time I show it off, people want to buy it because they can't get it. But yeah, I love those. So I'm looking at a couple other Protex right now. 
secretly get the the in custom engraved one like Nick had. Yeah, 125. It is a church knife, but it's snappy. Oh, really? The Jeffers 68 doesn't own a Benchmade yet? Yeah, nice. Yeah, the deployment would all, it's almost as snappy as straight out the front. You're gonna get an engraver, huh, there, Blade Banner? Jeff Jewell does everything freehand, wow. I'm definitely gonna have to send him some knives then. What knives do I carry at church? I stick with something like a bug out, like this bug out right here, you know? It's got that little bit of bling to it, but also a very, very thin profile, small deep pocket. Oh, you carry a lurch? Yeah, that would be good. To church. <laughs> lurch to church. Now, <laughs> or I go with a 940. I mean, you can't go wrong with a 940 at church. Wow, Bunzo calling them out. Oh, you take your Chris Reeves to church? Nice. It's a quality knife, you know. If you're going to have to use it, it's a good place to use it. But yeah, so I did, like I said, I did want to get back to, you. where'd it go? Right here, I set it off to the side. The bailout question that came up earlier. <laughs> Woodland. Oh, you wouldn't bur burst into flames. Everyone's forgiven, right? Um, so my thoughts. Now... I do have to say this, for the bailout and the steel that everybody's been talking about, the steel hardness. So one of the things I have to look at is, I'm not, I'm not super crazy into steels right now yet. I love all the work that people do like Super Steel Steve, um, Big Brown Bear, Blade Banner, I mean, he's got he's got stats on everything. If you ever want to get caught up and study stuff, I mean, his document he has for that is just amazing. So knowledge-wise for that stuff and comparisons, wonderful. So thanks for putting that together there, Blade Banner. It's a lot of work. Uh, Banter 24-7 has been doing a lot of stuff on steels. Um, and I know he's been... You know, making it a point to follow up. Uh, Alchemy is doing some. But yeah, so the hardness on these. I'm not, I'm not a person that really would look at it and be like, this doesn't work for me. You know, I'm into it for the blade as just a tool to cut with. And I don't know if, you know... The softer steel, I mean, that's the one of the things that I have to look at. Is this softer steel going to be something that down the road, it doesn't take, or I'm sorry, it takes, you know, less to dull it, you know, and one of those things. Oh, Banter is uh, consolidating a Cedric and Ada spreadsheet to you. Oh, okay. So Cedric and Ada, they did that, they did that also, okay. Low HRC just happens. Well, and that's the thing. Well, and yeah, just learn to sharpen, you know? And that's one of my things is like, I know for, you know, the average Joe, uh, mine's been holding a great edge. Also, I'm close enough that on the weekend or whatever, I can bomb out to the Benchmade factory and put it in the hands of like the edge masters themselves. And they put a factory edge back on it, um, which this one has. But... Yeah, I mean, Super Steel, C, Steve, all of them, they, they're they where it's at. You know, you guys that get into the steels, you know, I, I trust everything you guys are doing and putting out. And I think if somebody has concerns with it, then let's look at the concerns. Yeah, I mean, but the, the, the concerns I have is, is that 
you know, this steel being 3V, are they making it a HRC that's not going to be usable for EDC stuff? Or, you know what I mean? So is it going to go dull a whole bunch? A lot faster? Because if so, what are you paying for the 3V for then? Right? I mean, I think that's the biggest question that I've seen. I mean, other than the fact that, you know, the the true connoisseurs of steel are like, you know, you got you got a you got a great engineered tool here that could have been just that much better. So that so that's my question. So that's my overall question. You guys said the HRC on it's pointless. So that's my question to you guys. Like is it because of the value and the factor? Like, should it just been S30V, you know? So JT said, since he's technically an average Joe, zero care about stuff like that. But I buy a knife, type of steel used, usually isn't in the top five most important aspects of the knife. Yeah, and so that's, to me, blue collar, same thing. Well... Larry, I, I totally agree that, you know, people do take things a little bit out of, out of shape, but I think just like BCS is putting it and JT and everybody else, I'm a, I'm an everyday user of this knife. I'm not going to go heavy use. I'm not going to be, you know, out there pounding stuff with the pommel. So I can't wait to get a backspacer that just removes that. Um, I mean, just from carrying mine in the pocket, mine's my pommel's already getting scratches on it and everything else. So, and that's great, you know, sharp it every once in a while, but if you're paying for the premium of the 3V as that steel, which, you know, you're paying more than the bug out. And this is, you know, a bigger upgraded version than the bug out, which I love. I mean, that's kind of what we all wanted, right? Then the question to me is, is just use a different steel. But I know that 3V is big this year for them. You know, they got a lot of things like the 365 Outlast has 3V steel you know, all that stuff. So I wanted to talk about it a little bit cause I know it's, it's a, it's a huge thing out there and I support everybody on both sides because you know, BCS sent it out to find out it was really three V. Oh, okay. Well, and that's, that's a good way to look at it too. Yeah. I hear you BCS. Well, that's good, Rodney. Yeah, mine's super sharp as well, and I've used it for a lot of EDC stuff the last couple weeks. So, JT put it nicely. I like that. Uh, Blade Banner, the steel manufacturer, has an ideal hardness of aimed hardness or aimed hardness. Hardness. Granted, they probably have a reason, but figured they would follow the steel company's recipe. Okay. I see, I see what you're saying, Larry. Okay, I see what you're saying now. Yeah, and, I, and I'm totally glad to you that it's out there, you know. But, yeah, Bunzo, we're going to wrap it up here soon. We're going to do some giveaways, too, because Big Red sent some giveaways. You know how that is. Um, but I also don't want to do that. Like, you know, yeah, exactly, you guys. It's exactly, you know. I mean, put put a regular steel on it. You know, this is 154 cm on this 531 Pardue. You know, we all know how to take care of it and, you know, take care of business. So maybe that's an option, you know. Maybe that's something Benchmade will do is, you know, come out with, you know, kind of the Griptilians. They got different blades you can do and those kind of things. I like the 3V idea, but is it going to be harder to sharpen for the average Joe as well? So anyways... Exactly, Marshall, exactly. So, JT, yep, 154, all you need or want. Yeah, exactly, Menace with a Knife. Sean Liu, Sean Liu, yeah, nice, nice. So, yeah, I appreciate it. Your buck still does the business. I like that, Patty. Your M4 Man X2, 64 HRC, you'll pay for every day, yeah. Oh, well, there's some reblades coming, maybe, from a Swedish one. All your 3V or fixed blade. Oh, okay. 157, he has my address. 
Woodland says, I don't need these super steals for the EDC. Yeah, that, that's true. That's true. I totally hear you. Yep, CEO for the days in the house. Yep. So let's get to some giveaways. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Big Red, are you still with us? Give me a little shout out. Ooh, we got a wicked edge, that's cool. So I'm gonna do put these out here. So Big Red's got some stuff he wanted to send along to you guys to make sure that he took care of you guys while he's gone. Big Red's here. Nice. So, we have... Can't put it all on the same time here. We have a field book. This is nice. Very nice. It's lined. Put some super secret phone numbers in there for you. Hey, good night, Stasa. Appreciate you joining, man. Appreciate you joining, Stasa. Big red swag. We got some big red EDC stickers. Big red EDC. No grips in S35. I don't know a Benchmade using S35 ever, actually. Yeah, I don't think they've used it yet. I saw they had the 20 CV ones you could upgrade to. And I think there is an S90 V1. I'll have to double check that. Big red EDC bracelet. Got a Valtech tactical patch. Which is hopeful. Yeah, if they could put it on like the uh, custom knife maker, that'd be sweet. Got a poker pen. You guys know these. Love these. Super packable. Uh, let's see. And then we got this little guy. Inside a nice little custom sheath here, or a little pocket sheath. Got a little Oppenel. So Big Red's thrown down on this one. He wants you guys to be well taken care of while he's out. So yeah. So it's kind of some really cool stuff, Big Red. Appreciate you sending that down and let me guest host for you tonight. So yeah, so let's put all this stuff out there. We'll just lay it on top of some of these knives here. Or as some people say, knives. And I want to throw a couple little things out there as well. I want to throw out, you know, just a channel sticker so you know like, hey, Zach's got your back. A little all day, everyday carry, bench made sticker from this year. That's pretty good. Nafs, Knafs. And then a bench made morale patch right here. It's good stuff. So I want to add that to the, the package giveaway items. Now I do need to get a piece of paper. And I'm, I already have something in mind. But. Where's it at here? Hold on. Oh, here we go. Gonna use an old voters pamphlet. It's all about recycling, right? Okay. Oh, you're already starting. BCS is like, I already got this down. Knives. So I'm going to do a thing where Big Red EDC always does two letters, capitalized. Yeah, Patty, you should definitely do start it further ahead. You know, it takes a while to get across the pond, so some good stuff there. So I'm going to do two letters. Hey, good night, Greg. Thanks for joining again. Stand up, man. I appreciate that. Central Florida, right on. Got a couple people in Florida tonight. Okay, I'm going to fold this up. 
And I'm going to say, go. Um, so, Big Red, why don't you give us the official start? I got to double check and look what I wrote. But yeah, I'll, I'll wait for Big Red to give the official start. Just because I want to honor him, man, for letting me guest host. So, as soon as you see start from Big Red on there, then you can hit it. And here's the paper. Right there. It's going to open up. There it is. It's on there. So, two letters. We'll see what it is. Oh, we got some close ones. We got some close ones. Haven't seen it yet. Got some good guesses. Some really good guesses. See Beefer and Bunzo and Patty and Blade Banner, Rodney, everybody putting some guesses out. Rick and Menace. The Jeffer, Beefer Baron, Menace with a Knife, Marshall, Strike Three, BCS, Sean Liu. Okay. So I'm thinking we're gonna have to give a little bit of a clue. I made it a little harder this time. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna, the clue is Marshall's pretty close. So we'll have to go back and double check because hopefully it's been blowing through here, but be a lot. <laughs> I didn't realize you made the harder you make it, Big Red. You have to go back and sort through all the messages now. But yeah. So Marshall was close if you guys got that one that he posted a little bit ago. It's probably going to zip through really quick. Need some like music that we can put on that's not going to be like get us any strikes or anything for copyrights. Patty's got B.O. on there. No, nope, that was close, though. Okay. Do you guys want me to give you the first letter? We'll see. I'm going to go back through and look at these, make sure I get them all. Okay, <laughs> here's the first letter. The first letter is F. We'll see who gets it. It's gonna be tons of people now. <laughs> Once I see it, I'll go back and confirm. I'll make sure, okay, I think we got a winner. I think we have a winner. Hold your guesses. We have a winner. We have a winner. So, let's look at what this is. And I think what I have is Strike 3 posted it on there first. But I'm going to need some help. So, let's unfold this. Show you what it's going to say. FR. Whoa, we're just gonna throw stuff around now. Sorry about that, you guys. So FR is the guess, or not the guess, the right answer. But I think strike three had it. So if we go back and look, strike three had it. Big Red, if you can help me with that, 11.15 p.m. I'm gonna go back further just to make sure nobody put it on there, but.
Don't want there to be any controversy. We had some close ones, but... What do you guys think? Strike three, get it? They had to be in all caps. Strike three, okay. Rodney posted it a while back. Okay, well, let me double check. Oh, I gotta go back now. Hearing somebody said Rodney. Okay, stand by everybody. I get what you're saying, Big Red, about this now, going through all the messages. You know, being a ho uh, you know, a guest host, man, you learn these rookie things, you know. It's only my second time, so. All right, let me go to the end of the messages here. Rodney at 11.13. Okay. Rodney at 11.13. There it is. Okay. Rodney won. Woo! <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That's why I wanted to double check because the, the answers were flying through, so... <laughs> yeah, veteran. It's guessing for it, so... Congratulations, you guys. Sorry, strike three. You're the Ed McMahon. Yeah, I try. Rodney, hit me up. You got my email. If not, hit me up on Instagram. We'll get these out to you. I really appreciate Big Red sending out some prize packages. Really appreciate him letting me guest host Saturday Night Live. I really appreciate all your guys' conversation. I want to give a shout out to Greg. Thanks, Greg, for putting up with me earlier. <laughs> but yeah, I think thanks to everybody, man. <clears throat> but yeah, I really appreciate everything that's been going on in the knife community. I'm really excited for you guys going to Blade Show. I'm gonna live through you guys. So even if you get a chance to post something on a break or you know get some Wi-Fi or something, then you know put it on Instagram or something, you know. So. It's good stuff, but yeah, man, it, I just want to give a shout out to my own channel. I did post my 2,500 giveaway, so when I reach 2,500, I'm going to give away that Benchmade bug out, the 535 GRY-1, so go over, check it out, just post it tonight. I'm adding new things every day to that giveaway, so I'll probably do an update later this week showing some more things that I'm adding to it, uh, reaching out to a couple other companies, getting some more giveaways for that. I'm also picking up a few more things out of my own pocket. Um, just to give back to you guys. So anyways, I really appreciate you guys hanging with me tonight. Big Red, shout out. Good to see you. Good to see you're on vacation having fun. We'll see you next week. You guys, go to Big Red's channel. Like, subscribe. And you guys take care.